Today we're going to be learning about one-step equations using addition and subtraction. We're going to follow these steps. First, we're going to isolate the variable, completing the inverse operation. Next, we're going to add and subtract on both sides of the equal sign. Then, our answer should look like this. The variable equals the answer. In this case, x equals 3. So let's take a look at this example. We're going to do it together. Example number 1. And we're just going to rewrite it in this space so we have a little bit more room. We have x plus 4 equals 7. So what we want to do is isolate the variable on one side of the equal sign using the inverse operation. So in this problem we have addition and the opposite or the inverse is going to be 4. We need to subtract 4 from each side of the equal sign. Pretend there's like a make-believe little line on the equal sign and you can see each half. And then we solve. We have x, we bring our x down. Then our fours are going to cancel each other out. But let me go back a little bit and kind of explain. Let's go back to our original problem. X plus four equals seven. So we need to do the inverse on both sides of the equal sign. So we're doing the opposite, so we are subtracting. So now we bring down our x. Our fours are going to cancel each other out. Then we bring down our equal sign, and we subtract 4 from 7, and our answer is 3. We then go back and rewrite our answer, x equals 3, and put it nicely in a box. We're going to check and make sure that that answer is the exact same in our example. Let's do another one together. First, let me erase all this. Remember, we're isolating the variable, adding and subtracting on both sides, and then putting our answer. So, let's do number one together. I always rewrite the problem so it's nice and clear. We have x plus 7 equals 18. So in step 1, we need to get the variable on the side of the equal sign alone. Which means we have to do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. And we're going to subtract 7 from both sides of the equal sign. Remember, there's that imaginary line on the equal sign. So if we subtract 7 from one side, we have to subtract 7 from the other side. We bring down our x. Our 7s are going to cancel each other out. We bring down that equal sign. 
and then we have 18 minus 7, and our answer is 11. Remember, we then rewrite it nice and clear and put it in a box. Now, we can check to make sure it's correct if we're not sure if 11 is the answer. So how you do that is you plug 11 in for x. So now we're going to check our work after we write down our answer. We have x equals 11. So what we're going to do First, we're going to copy the problem exactly as it is. x plus 7 equals 18. We know that x equals 11, so we're going to switch out that and write 11 plus 17 equals 18. Or 11 plus 7 equals 18. 18 equals 18, and that's how we know that our answer is correct. Now, it's really important that you do not forget to show your work. You have to show your work. You can't just write down x equals 11 and call it good. Make sure you show your work. This is a bad example of what your answer should look like. A good example of what your work should look like would be writing the whole problem out x plus 7 equals 18, minus 7, minus 7, bring down our x, x equals 11. This is the proper way to show your answers on your homework.